Hi everyone, it's Toby Ricketts here, coming to you from inside my computer today. Now this is number four of a series of five mini episodes of VO Life uh, about the top five mistakes that voice actors make when submitting their final audio. So if you haven't seen the other uh, four, uh, then do go back and watch those as well. Today, number four is file formats. Um, the way you submit your audio to an engineer is relatively important with file formats, okay? There's a, and it's pretty simple. There's really only sort of two flavors. When you're doing auditions, uh, the quality isn't that important. Sometimes it is, but I mean, often you just want to send it out and it gives people an idea of your voice and then they hire you if uh, they, you know, if they really like it. So you're fine to go with MP3 for that. So let's just record a little bit of audio. Hello, this is my audition submission. Toby Riggett's voiceover. There it is. So now if we go save as, we bring up this save dialog, which has appeared on my other screen. I'll bring it into here. Uh, you want to save that in your demos folder. I always advocate having a demo folder here, which is there, 2020 demos. And MP3 is the file format you want to select. Okay, now this, um, we'll just call it something random. We'll just call it like a demo here. Now, it gives you options here, the format settings. This often confuses people. Um, 128 kilobits per second when you're in mono is perfectly acceptable. It's it's pretty much CD quality, but there are a few sort of flaws. So 128 kilobits when you're in mono is a really is a really good place to be. A little bit less than that's okay. I wouldn't go lower than 80, and there's no point going 100 and hi, and, uh, higher than 192 kilobits uh, when you're in mono. And I say that because when you've got stereo, of course, you're compressing two channels, so it halves the bit rate on each of them, if that makes any sense. Um, when you are submitting your final audio, cancel out of that because I'm not going to save it. Uh, let's say... This is your final audio recording. Take one. Uh, you are going to clean up your takes, as we found out in the last episode. Make sure you silence out all those breaths, all those mouth clicks. Maybe put some beeps in if you want to, like this. Take one. Um, then when it comes to saving your final file, Control, Shift, and S on most programs to save it. You can save it in the appropriate. Now, I always put jobs under, um, under client name. Uh, in, in a jobs folder because that's really easy to uh, to find them later on. And then you can put this, uh, you can, like we said in the other episode about naming uh, files, it's really important to put your name, uh, the client name, the project, how many takes you've done, um, and whether it was a session or, or wild takes, and then raw or processed, and then the date. Sounds confusing, but go back and watch the file naming one if you haven't already. Um, then you can put the file name in there, which I'm not going to do, and then select WAVE. Uncompressed is what you want to do. You want to save this as a WAV file. Um, there aren't really any uh, any format settings with this. Um, I wouldn't touch those ones because it's literally just recording every little bit of information, uh, unlike MP3, which is compressing it. It's lossy compression. If you're interested in um, audio compression, uh, sorry, not audio compression, data compression, uh, then do a search online about uh, lossy compression versus uh, lossless compression. Uh, so Wave is uncompressed. It's the best quality. This is what engineers are going to want from you because then they can go to work and do all the stuff they want and there won't be any loss of quality with subsequent generations. Um, the other options you have are the sample rate. Um, I'll do a series on this in the future about different sample rates. I usually stick with 44,100 hertz at 16 bits just because that CD quality, it's, it's applicable to most things. Um, 48 kilohertz is when you start to get into film and television and they'll ask for it if they want it specifically. Um, but I would stick with 44.1. So that's the basic rule of thumb. If it's a demo, MP3, if it's final audio, send it as a wave. And that concludes today's lesson. So I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this series. There's one more, uh, which is coming out tomorrow, and we're going to talk about... It's going to be a surprise. <laughs> so yeah, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. And do go to my blog if you want some more information uh, at tobyricketsvoiceover.com slash blog, um, or follow the VO Life channel uh, here on Toby Ricketts on YouTube. Thanks, guys.